Have you ever wanted to build search into your Adalo app, but wanted it to be a little more complex than just searching through one field in your collection? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how with Adalo's new and or filtering, you can create a powerful search feature to search your content in any way that you'd like. So I've created this basic app to start. I have a few things that I want to walk you through. First of all, let's look at the collections. If I go to the database, I have my default users collection. I've added a blog post collection that has a title and a body and a link to an author collection, which has a name and then a link back to the blog posts. I've also added some sample data to get us started so we can work with this. For the blog posts, I have five records in here. And then for the authors, I have four records in here. So it's pretty simple, nothing too complex. For the design, what I've done is I've added a input field right here. I've added a list of my blog posts and linked up the text for the blog post title and the author name. And then I've also added an action to this list to open a new screen where the full blog post is listed, both the title, the author name, and then also the body of the blog post. So what we're going to do is we're going to link this input field to the blog post list to create a custom filter. That way our search is powering what's shown in this list for our end users. And I'm going to show you how you can actually filter by multiple fields. So you see in this placeholder text, I've written search by title, body, or author. That's how we're going to set this up. We're going to set it up so that any term entered into this input will search through both the title, author name, and the body. Okay, so let's look at how we can set this up. It's pretty simple. I just need to open my list settings, and I need to go to the filter section. We're going to click Add a Custom Filter. And if you've ever done a search feature in Adalo, this is exactly how you would have done it. You would choose probably the title, then you would choose Contains, and then the input. So right now we would be showing any blog posts where the title contains the input. However, this means that if somebody entered a search term for the author's name or the body, it's not going to show up in the results. It's only going to be able to search by the title. So what we can do now with Adalo is we can add another custom filter, and it's going to set it to this or state, meaning either of these can be true. And we're just going to set this up on the other fields. So we'll choose the body contains the input. And we'll do this one more time for the author. So the author's name contains the input. So now you'll see we have this, this keyword or in between all of these filters. And this means that any of these fields can match what we're entering into our search input and show up in our results. Let's test it really quick. We'll go into preview mode. We should see all of the fields, or I'm sorry, all of the posts right up here. And let's start searching. So we see that we've got one of our blog posts is called the worst day of my life. So if I type in worst, I can see that that's working. It's searching by the title. We also see that Tony Stark is one of the authors. So let's search for Tony. Perfect. We see that even though Tony's not in the title or the body, it's going to show up as one of our results. Let's try searching by the body. So for this post, let's just grab a word. Mixed is one of the words. Let's search by that. And perfect. It's searching by the body also and just returning this result. So that's really cool. A great way to set up a more advanced search. But what if we want to get even more complicated? As a bonus, let's add a toggle. Let's go into the blog posts and add this new property. Let's just do a true or false toggle here. And let's call this indexed. Okay, so for this indexed field, what we want to do is basically say this, this blog post should be able to show up in search results. So maybe uh, you could use it as a way to archive things. You could use it in, in a number of different ways, but let's just go into our blog post and let's mark this as true for a few of them. We'll just leave, we'll leave this how to climb walls one as false to test. Okay, 
So now we've done that, we need to update our filters. So here's where it gets pretty cool. We can actually nest some of these conditions. So you see where we've got our first filter where the title contains the input. We're just going to click and, and we're going to add another condition. We're going to say and indexed is true. So this is now kind of our first condition that we're checking against. Does the title contain our search input and is indexed marked as true? And then we need to do this for all of our others. So we go down here, index is true for when the body contains the input, and indexed is true when the author name contains the input. So you can see that now we're basically saying that no matter which filter is going to be pulling a result in, it's always going to also need to match indexed is true. We can add more ands, we can add more ors, we can add conditions where indexed doesn't have to be true. For example, maybe if you have an admin of your app and you want results to show up even if indexed is false, you could add another or and say if the logged in user is going to be, you know, an admin and start to build custom conditions there. So you can get pretty advanced with this. We're going to leave it as is for now and go do some searching. So just as a quick reminder, how to climb walls is not going to show up here. And I'm thinking actually we might run into a snag. Oh, nope, it does. It leaves it out. That's good. So you see how to climb walls is now off of our list because we have marked it as not indexed and it doesn't match any of our filter conditions. And any of our searches now are just going to include these. So even if I search for how to climb walls, I'm not going to see it. All right. So that is how you build a more powerful search in Adalo.